I'm Simon reporting for the Occupy News Network. We're at the uh, western end of the Excel Centre, where two committed activists have dived under a military inflatable boat. These activists are doing this to prevent the uh, transportation of this boat into the world's largest arms fair, which is due to start next week. These brave activists here took an opportunity when the truck was stopped. They wormed their way underneath and they're now stopping the progression of this, this boat, military equipment. So fresh off duty at the other end of the Excel Centre, where a while ago two activists had uh, chained themselves together in a lock-on kit. Here's the Metropolitan overworked, over-overtime paid order thought release squad. This squad yesterday had seven lock-ons they had to deal with. The activists kept the road blockaded to stop military equipment for so long they had to go and recharge their uh, equipment to carry on unlocking people. So what we're seeing here in East London are acts of civil disobedience en masse. So we're up to around 60 arrests uh, since Monday. There'll be more than that by tonight when we finish our work and the police have finished their work. Mass civil disobedience is required to get effective change done. The police want you to protest by the side of the road and wave your flags and maybe chant a little bit, but they will not tolerate any criminality. This is a criminal act. But the real criminals are those that will be selling arms those that will buy arms, the crimes they will commit will be war crimes, they'll be breaking UK export licences, and we have real examples of how that has happened in the last six years at the DSEI Arms Fair. So for those of us who joined the live stream, welcome to the setup for the world's largest arms fair, except at the moment it's not being set up because activists have uh, stopped a, uh, an inflatable boat, a military vehicle, destined for the arms fair. Underneath the, uh, the truck carrying the boat are two activists that are chained to the chassis of the truck. And while the police were looking at that, another activist, uh, Maraca, I don't know how he did it, it was incredible. He just bounced up to the top of the uh, truck there. So this action has been done. Direct action, peaceful, non-violent direct action has been done to slow and hinder and harass and stop the flow of weapons into the, uh, into the arms fair. Give yourselves a round of applause and for the people under there. Yes! <laughs> We're all here today opposing the Dicey Arms Fair. As, as all of you should know, war criminals from across the world and arms companies from across the world are coming here to sell weapons, to profit from militarised borders, to profit from the repression of pro-democracy protesters around the world. We say, if that starts here, then today we can stop it here. Come on! War starts here! Let's stop it here! 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 Repression starts here! Let's stop it here! Oh! And there's our truck surfer. <laughs> so he's moved. I don't know why he's moved, <laughs> but I love that. So this is the uh, western end of the Excel Centre in East London. The truck's been brought to a standstill by three activists, two underneath and one on top. The two underneath chained themselves to the uh, vehicle. Uh, the truck was carrying a boat into the world's largest arms fair, which is due to start next week. And by delaying this truck, they have delayed the setup of the arms fair. And we've, uh, we've taken the opportunity for the arms companies to set up this vehicle for some time. The arms fair will start on Tuesday, customers will arrive, and we hope these people won't be ready to sell weapons around the world. We're doing this in the name of peace, and we're doing it using a tactic of civil disobedience. If you're able, come down to the other end, the eastern end of the Excel Centre, on Saturday, the big day of action. On Saturday, there's going to be a lot of people. It's going to be a festival of of peace, a festival of anti-militarisation and it's going to be a festival of civil disobedience where people will say actually no, no more. You may arrest me for blocking the road, I believe in the, uh, in the morals of the choices that I'm making. So this is Simon for the Occupy News Network, signing off from the world's largest arms fair.